challenging the, the entire process. There's been different challenges along the way. In the beginning, of course, it was proving yourself from your skills to to your potential, to your drive. And a lot of the feedback that I got, not initially, but it would come later is, Leah, that's, oh, that's so awesome. Oh, that's so cute. You know, here's this early 20-year-old 20 20-year-old 20 female saying she's going to become a professional race car driver and nobody, I won't say nobody, but like competition at that time didn't take me seriously, and which means that they didn't think that I was a threat mm-hmm. once I had the opportunity and <laughs> was with a world-class team and winning races, it was no longer cute yeah. for them. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> they didn't like it very much. And, you know, I've seen a lot of people turn – into bad ways and you know i'm a i'm a huge fan of of good people and good sold people like if anybody knows me knows i'm not a malicious person if somebody does me wrong i'm the first person to walk away and and just like hey you know that sorry that you have you know some type of taintedness and there's some bad blood somewhere but nothing but positivity uh is is what i like to be around so you know a lot of people's true colors kind of came out and a lot of and a lot of people also brought amazing opportunities to partner with and be a part of success and success that I could have never had without them. So mm-hmm. challenges, yes, on personal and professional fronts. You know, a lot of people seem to have opinions about what you say, what you do, how you look, what what you shouldn't shouldn't portray. And I struggled with that for the first couple of years of just really not um, pissing anybody off. Yeah. Just. And I never, I, I didn't even know I had Netflix until uh, somebody that stayed in my house apparently logged in. And I, <laughs> I watched this last week. Uh, and I've never really been a Taylor Swift fan. I like maybe some of her music. I'm more of a rap person. Uh-huh. But I watched her, her Netflix documentary. I think it's called Miss Americana. And I related quite a lot to what what her story was. And basically, that's what she did for so many years. She just she didn't have an opinion about anything. She didn't want to piss anybody off. You know, that's not her place. Her place was to make music. My place is to race cars and represent my partners. And and it, and it definitely still is. But I feel like I had been deprived a little bit of my personality and being able to show that because, I, you know, I'm just a hired gun. Meanwhile, my competition gets to get out of their car and throw, you know, gun signs up in the air, pew, 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 and hit people and and just do all outlandish things and pick fights. But yet as a female, if I pick a fight, well, then I'm a B word. So mm-hmm. there's definitely, uh, it, it's definitely a double-edged sword. But at the same time, I definitely will admit that there is a portion of marketability as long as it's done right and it fits into, uh, you know, into a partner's agenda of the market that we're trying to reach by having a female driver or ambassador. So it's, being very aware of your situations and aware of the market and who and who you really speak to, because we all don't speak to the same people and relate to the same ones. And I have learned to be very much more 100% true to myself than I've ever been. And I think that might be the biggest yes takeaway from everything is saying yes to your to yourself, not to anybody else's opportunities, but to you. And if that's if that's what you truly want to do. And I lived a long time without really knowing myself. And I feel like within my last year, I know myself better. I feel like I know my cards better. And that means I'm able to execute everything better, which is why I'm going to say you, we heard it here first. Uh, I truly believe that we will be 2020 world champions, if not in one category, top fuel, but in the factory stock showdown championship, which were the 2018 champions. So it's very much doable. And that is where 100% of my focus is at this year. I love it. I love hearing that. I love throwing it out there. Uh, The championship is in your future. Um, You know, we talk in in our world of coaching a lot about self-awareness. And I, I and I just want to point that out that you have done a wonderful job in describing your own self awareness, which has led to your success all the way to the point of this last year living in a place where you can focus on yourself as well. So great job doing that. I just commend you on figuring all that out because so many people go through their life and they just don't figure it out that quickly. I appreciate that, and I think maybe it's a misconception too that it's selfish to do that. I mean, because we all are in different walks of life. I, 
you know, I don't have children and, and, and I believe when you do, you, you know, your children are first. Um, but you shouldn't feel bad about really understanding and to your point of self-awareness of, of what you need, because ultimately that should be very high, maybe not the highest, but very high priority, because then you will become your best self and your best self is best for everybody else. Mm -hmm. And I've, I've seen that. I've had great feedback, which I didn't, didn't, it blew me off guard, you know, to hear comments from my friends and my family and agencies that I work with of like, you know, Leah, I can just tell you're a much happier person and your work is, you know, your work is showing that too. And my work ethic, and I actually work for a digital company on the side called Source Digital um, that I truly believe in, and it helps influencers monetize um, their their actual partners' ambassadorship. So it, it's it's all it's all good. And so for anybody listening that feels like they don't have time to delve deep into themselves or that they may not deserve it, they definitely deserve it. And if you don't think that you do, your people around you deserve for you to be your best. So think about what you can do. Um, to to take those small steps, whatever that may be. If it's one extra hobby, one extra workout, maybe it's moving across the country and starting a new life. Yeah. I don't know. But courage is definitely at the bottom of it. You know, I only had two last questions for you, and one of them was going to be your advice to others, and that sounds like some pretty damn good advice right there. Oh, well, thank you. As long, and advice is only as good as much as you take it, just like medicine. So I'm yes. going to keep taking that medicine. <laughs> Eventually you have to do the work. Uh, my last question, and I really appreciate the time you've given us. What, what's next for you? I see that you've got uh, some apparel on the internet with, the, with your logo on there. I mean, where do you take this career? And we don't want you to move out of it too quickly, but what's, what's next steps for you? That's an amazing question. Um, I do have apparel, which Hoonigan Designs, John Chase is amazing. I partnered with them because I was a huge fan, uh, a huge fan of them and their content. And the day that I was actually be able to become an athlete for them under Ken Block, I was like, oh, my gosh, it doesn't get any better than that. Um, I'm really trying not to focus. And, this, you know, this may not be correct, and a lot of people may not agree with this. And I actually, I will tell you right now, a lot of people don't. A lot of people think that I should be completely focused on my brand and what is next, what team can I satellite operation off into, what can I build and run my own and, and run my own where I don't necessarily agree with that. Um, I need to give my time and my expenditure on giving as much value to my partners to maintain what I'm doing and thrive in that. And if my goal is a world championship. If, if I take these other next steps, that a lot of people think that I should, it's going to take me a lot longer in my opinion to get there. So for me is, is to really make sure that my partners win and win, win in awareness, win in sales, whether it's selling of drag packs, launching of you know new programs, uh, getting people to sign up for the cap program, which is certification at vocational schools to work for one of the 2,500 FDA dealerships waiting for technicians because there'll be 46,000 jobs in the next five years. Like seeing them succeed through my program is success to me. But other than that, I'd say, I'd say stay tuned. I'm definitely not leaving this sport at, in any capacity at any time soon. And I'll only be growing in it. But my focus is, um, my focus is winning right now. I love it. You know, I had somebody ask me yesterday about a franchise opportunity and they're in a completely different business. They said, well, what do you think? I said, focus on what you do and do it well, because if you do it well, more will come to you. You don't have to look outside the box. And it sounds like what you're doing, you're doing it very well. I've got your stats in front of me. You've had a lot of success. You're going to win that race this year, and uh, you've got the right attitude for it. So, again, I just wanted to thank you for coming on the show, sharing your story. Where's the best pe way people can get a hold of you or find you on social media? Sure, absolutely. Uh, it's most active on Instagram with answering DMs and comments, of course. I'm, I'm the only one that actually posts, um, so that's Leah Dot Pruitt. And throughout the weekend, uh, we run stories of updates of how we're qualifying, what we're doing, that my team is actually able to help me with. And, and I want to throw out there real quick that my recent mindset of, you know, not being very heavy LP in, in my own space, I want to dedicate that to John Schumacher himself. He's been a great mentor. We get along great. He, you know, he's, he's a hard boss, but 
uh, he is the one that has really shown me, not just told me, but shown me what to do and how to do it and that our partners become first. And then, uh, so I want to thank him. I'd like to thank my partners, of course, uh, Dodge. I never, as a little kid, I could have only dreamed to be quote unquote, a factory rider, right? A factory yeah. driver, um, for what I consider the best vehicle company in the world. So between that and Shell and new ones that we're working with and Source Digital, I'm very blessed and very thankful. And I'd like to thank all the fans that come to the races and, A, get pictures and autographs with us, but also have patience because they know that I work on the car and I fuel it and I take it very seriously. So I appreciate I appreciate everybody that is a true diehard fan and follows along. And uh, we'll be having some giveaway giveaways this season for some car parts and some apparel. So look forward to that. Awesome. I love your winning attitude. You're super charged on the phone. So thank you for the energy today. I can get back to my work day and I know I'm going to be fired up based on talking to you. So again, thank you for your time. We really appreciate it. Absolutely. Thank you. And thanks everybody for listening. Tune into NHRA and watch us uh, rip on down the track this year. Thank you for listening to today's show. It is my pleasure and honor to interview all of the guests that have been on the Answer is Yes podcast. If you have enjoyed the show, please go on iTunes and subscribe, give a rating, or simply tell a friend about the show. We also believe in the message of our guests and the positive influence of their stories. As my own mentor and coach, David Meltzer, has taught me, spend some time every day thinking and writing about the things in your own life that you have more than enough of. You will find out how blessed we really are. Please visit my website, livelifedriven.com, for the latest updates about me and what I'm doing. Plus, I post a monthly blog about the many topics on this show. This podcast can also be found there. As I learned early on in life, what you believe is what you will achieve. Thanks, Mark Victor Hansen, and thank you, and have a great week.